the most controversial and influential athlete in the world, was offered a chance to play football again. But not in the league he wanted. What if we told you that he turned down the offer, even though he had not played in seven years? Come, let's find out more. Colin Kaepernick, a quarterback who has not played in the NFL for seven years, tried to get a chance to join the New York Jets this week. He sent a letter to Joe Douglas, the Jets' general manager, which was shared online by the rapper G. Cole. He asked to be part of the team's practice squad, which is a group of players who help the main team prepare for games. The Jets needed a new quarterback because Aaron Rodgers, who was their star player, got injured in the first game of the 2023 NFL season. He only played for four minutes before he got hurt. The Jets' current quarterback, Zach Wilson, has not been very good, and his backup, Tim Boyle, is not much better. However, the Jets did not agree to Kaepernick's request. They decided to sign Trevor Simeon instead, who is another quarterback who has played for different teams before. Colin Kaepernick might have a chance to play football again, but not in the United States. A team from Canada, the BC Lions have shown that they are interested in him. They have put him on their negotiation list, which means that they can talk to him about joining their team. The BC Lions play in the Canadian Football League, which is different from the NFL. This was reported by Farin Lalji, who works for TSN, a sports network in Canada. Being on the negotiation list of a CFL team does not mean much. It only means that the team has the right to talk to the player if he wants to play in the CFL. The player can either sign with that team or ask them to trade his rights to another team he likes better. This is not the first time that Colin Kaepernick has been on a CFL team's negotiation list. He was on the list of the Hamilton Tiger Cats from March to September 2017. They took him off the list even though his agent said that Kaepernick did not want to play in Canada. Then the Montreal Alouettes put him on their list and tried to contact his agent, but they could not make a deal. Colin Kaepernick is a famous American football player who used to play for the San Francisco 49ers in the National Football League NFL. He became famous not only for his skills on the field but also for his protest against racial injustice and police brutality. He knelt during the national anthem before the games, which caused a lot of controversy and criticism. Some people supported him, while others accused him of disrespecting the flag and the country. Kaepernick had not played in the NFL since 2016, when he became a free agent. A free agent is a player who can sign a contract with any team he wants. However, no NFL team wanted to sign Kaepernick, because they were afraid of the negative reactions from the fans, the media, and the politicians. Some people also thought that Kaepernick was not good enough to play in the NFL anymore. Kaepernick did not give up on his dream of playing football again. He tried to show that he was still in good shape and ready to play. He also sued the NFL for conspiring against him, which means that the teams agreed not to sign him because of his protests. He settled the lawsuit in 2019, but he did not reveal how much money he got from the NFL. In 2020, there was a new opportunity for Kaepernick to play football again. A new league called the XFL was created, which was different from the NFL. The XFL had fewer rules and more entertainment. It also had eight teams that were looking for players. One of the owners of the XFL was Dwayne Johnson, also known as The Rock. He is a famous actor and wrestler who used to play football in college. The Rock said that he met with Kaepernick and his agents and offered him a chance to play in the XFL. He said that he respected Kaepernick's protests and wanted to give him a platform to showcase his talents. However, Kaepernick did not accept the offer. He said that he wanted to play in the NFL, not in the XFL. He also said that he did not trust the XFL because it was owned by Vince McMahon, who is a friend of Donald Trump. Trump is a former president of the United States who criticized Kaepernick and his protests many times. The sports world reacted to Kaepernick's quarterback offer in different ways. So people praised The Rock for trying to help Kaepernick and criticized Kaepernick for being too picky and stubborn. They said that Kaepernick should be grateful for any opportunity to play football again, even if it was not in the NFL at all. They also said that Kaepernick was not serious about playing football, but only wanted to get attention and money. Other people defended Kaepernick and said that he had the right to choose where he wanted to play. They said that Kaepernick deserved to play in the NFL because he was better than many of the quarterbacks who were playing there. They also said that Kaepernick was brave in principle for standing up for what he believed in, even if it cost him his career. Colin Kaepernick is a person who played a sport called American football. He was very good at throwing and running with the ball. 
He played for a team called the San Francisco 49ers for six years. He helped them reach the final game of the season, called the Super Bowl, in 2012. He also helped them get close to the Super Bowl again in 2013. He is also a person who cares about justice and equality, and does not like it when some people are treated badly because of their skin color or where they come from. In 2016, Colin Kaepernick decided to do something to show his feelings. Before every game, he would kneel on one knee instead of standing up. When the national anthem was played, the national anthem is a song that represents the country of the United States. Many people stand up and put their hands on their hearts when they hear it. Colin Kaepernick knelt to say that he was not happy with how some people were treated in this country. He wanted to make people think and talk about the problems. Many people saw what Colin Kaepernick did and had different opinions. Some people agreed with him and supported him. They said that he was brave and honest. They also knelt with him or did other things to show their support. Some other people disagreed with him and criticized him. They said that he was rude and disrespectful. They said that he should not use his sport to talk about politics. Colin Kaepernick stopped playing for the San Francisco 49ers after 2016. He wanted to play for another team, but no team wanted him. Some people think that this is because he is not good enough anymore. Other people think that this is because the teams are afraid of losing money or fans if they have him. Colin Kaepernick thinks that this is not fair. He sued the teams for working together to keep him out of the sport. He settled the case in 2019, but he did not say how much money he got. Colin Kaepernick still wants to play football, but he also wants to do other things. He has written a book and made a documentary about his life and his protests. He has also given money and time to help many causes and organizations that fight for justice and equality. It has inspired many people to join him in his mission. The debate about Kaepernick's quarterback offer continued for a while, but it did not change anything. The XFL started its season without Kaepernick, and the NFL continued its season without him too. No one knows if Kaepernick will ever play football again or if he will find another way to pursue his passion and his purpose. The NFL is a sport where people play a game called American football. American football is a game where two teams of 11 people try to score points by moving a ball across a field. The team with the ball, called the offense, can run or throw the ball to advance it. The other team, called the defense, tries to stop them and take the ball away. The offense gets four chances, called downs, to move the ball at least 10 yards. If they do, they get four more downs. If they don't, they lose the ball. The teams can score by reaching the end of the field, called the end zone, for a touchdown, six points, or by kicking the ball through a goal post for a field goal, three points. The team with the most points at the end of the game wins. This is not just a story about a football player and his offer. This is a story about a conspiracy, a betrayal, and redemption. This is a story that will make you question everything you believe in. Comment your thoughts, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.